When doing free motion embroidery, you need to have an embroidery foot, or can be called a darning foot, it's another term for it as well. And it always has a spring in it and a hoop, a very small hoop, but very similar to uh, a big embroidery hoop. You also need to have a darning plate or a drop feed. I'll speak about the drop feed on another machine. This machine has a darning plate, which is just a tiny little plate. It might, might look quite large there, but it's actually quite small. And what it's going to do is going to cover up these feed dogs. These, these are the teeth that feed your fabric and they need to be covered up to be able to have free motion. To fit the darning plate, they've got two little bits that actually go into bits in your sewing machine, the little holes there. And you just need to make sure that you put it in the correct way, lift up your foot and then position it. It can be a bit tricky to find in the little holes. There we go, found the holes. You make sure that you, oops, back out, it's come again, that you actually marry up that space in the darning foot along with the space where your um, thread comes up. There you go, you can check that your needle goes up and down. That's good. Once you've got your uh, darning foot in place, we need to make sure that the bottom thread comes up through this gap here. We don't want it coming straight through here, we only want it to come to here. So the top thread's been threaded, we're now going to use our needle to go down to catch that bottom thread and we're going to pull it up as we normally do but instead of taking it through the darning foot we only want to pull it up through the plate there we go all ready to go now to um, do our machine embroidery.